Would you like to learn the top five trends in the future of work? If so, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Michael Gibbs, and I'm the founder and CEO of Go Cloud Careers. And we're an organization that's dedicated towards building high performance cloud computing and networking careers. In today's video, we're going to talk about the top five trends of the future of work. Let's start by talking about people working remotely. Due to the pandemic, people have been working remotely for a long time. And let me tell you, after working remotely for a long period of time, it's gonna be very hard for many people to go to back to the office. Personally, I've experienced this. I had worked from home for a long time. In fact, I've worked from home for almost 20 years now. But when I had worked from home for a while, I was presented with the opportunity to take a really great job. And you know what? I did. I took a fantastic job. And let me tell you, after three months of being in the office, I didn't want that job anymore. In fact, after three months, I had resigned from that position because I just couldn't go back to the office. And here's the key. After having the freedom of working remotely, I just couldn't go back to the office again. And many people are free being home, enjoying themselves. And when they have to go back to the office, they're going to have a hard time with the commute, the parking and all those other things after they've had the freedom of working from home. The next trend we see is a move towards collaboration and communication and soft skills. As we've seen, there's been an extreme push for people working remotely and communicating across large distances. And we see more and more movement and more and more diverse teams across the globe, which is a great way to get people communicating and collaborating and building better things. But we need to unite these teams to make them maximally effective. Let's face it, we can't be in meetings 24 hours a day or we'll never get anything done. So what we need is leaders with excellent soft skills and excellent communication skills and people with excellent soft skills and excellent communication skills so they can collaborate to bring better innovations and bring new things together while working remotely. So soft skills and communication skills are a big focus for employers these days and we see so much of it moving forward. Especially when employees are remote and they're not easily supervised, you wanna have employees that want to do the job because they want to do it because they're bought into the mission as opposed to trying to rule with an iron fist over long distances where you can't supervise people that's not gonna be effective in the future of work. The next trend we see is increased digital enablement. We're seeing a much more digitally enabled workforce and it gets more digitally enabled by the day. I remember decades ago when we were given pagers. Then it became cell phones and laptops. Now we have green screens, high definition video cameras, and professional audio devices in the home of the regular workforce. We are seeing future enablement and new technologies to drive new innovation every single day. The next trend that we see is towards increased automation and we're seeing more and more of it every day. The reason we forecast this trend is we see higher regulations, especially on factors such as sustainability. Now we see focusing on sustainability to be a wonderful thing, but we know increased regulations cause increased expenses. As an expense goes up, the organizations will have two things, either to raise their prices, which will result in inflation, and they'll do that if they have price elasticity. But if employers don't have price elasticity in their pricing, what we'll see is automation. We'll see new technology to replace people's jobs. And how will we do that? We'll see technology such as the auto checkout in the grocery store. We'll see more and more of that. As expenses go up, employers have no choice but to either raise their prices, and if they can't raise their prices, if they don't have their price elasticity, they will reduce headcount, and they'll do that through automation. You just can't create profits from nothing. So I believe as we see increased regulation to do more things such as sustainability, and sustainability is a great thing, but with that comes increased expenses. So that means more automation to keep up with increased costs. The last trend we see in the future of work are actually virtual worlds, and we're witnessing more and more trends towards Web 3.0. We're starting to see it with Facebook and Meta, and companies around the world are really bringing in their virtual worlds. We're starting to see new cryptocurrencies and non-fungible tokens are emerging by the day. So we see people living and working in a somewhat more virtual environment in the future. We're likely to see much more out of the metaverse coming in the future, not only for general users, but also employees and employers alike. So we see a lot of things moving 
towards virtual world. Okay, to recap, the five trends that we see in the future of work are more remote work, collaboration and communication skills and soft skills becoming increasingly relevant, increased digital enablement of the workforce, increased automation and virtual worlds. Hope you've enjoyed watching this video. We've enjoyed speaking to you and we hope to see you in our future video.